doing a quick video of our latest DIY project which is putting in some new gates um, which are electric and manual. So as you can see we've got one large gate and a pedestrian gate and we wanted the pedestrian gate to be uh, completely manual. So we can just unclip it, um, come in and let it close just like um, any other gate. Um, I'm not going to recommend the gate company that made the gates. Um, they're not great, but um, they are what they are. However, the electric gate people is a company called Quico, and uh, they are very good. Um, saw them on eBay, contacted them um, direct, got some very good advice, and got a custom kit made um, for my specific needs. Because um, obviously my needs are a bit random, and um, there's nothing really off the shelf. So the kit comprises of the um, the 400 arm, which as you can see is a, a push pull type arm, and a 300 is a smaller unit um, where the pull happens underneath. Uh, it comes with a control box and with sensors. So we have internal sensors uh, which detect obviously if there's anything coming in, and we have external sensors um, outside. We also had four remote controls, um, uh, but obviously the rest of the project um, is self-made. So I've had to make a bracket here, um, well, I'll rephrase it, I designed it and somebody else made it, uh, which is raw bolted into the wall and in a concrete base, because the amount of pull this actually pulls is immense, so I didn't want to pull the neighbour's wall down. Obviously all the tubing, and then a second bracket here. Um, bolted uh, to the existing post uh, and obviously you've got to do all the electrics yourself um, all the control boxes and the like except that one there because it's quite, there's no gate and it's quite long we've got it on a wheel at the end uh, which gives us a slight slope uh, so it, it takes a bit of strain away from the pillar um, we didn't replace the posts on part of this project and finally we've had to modify the clip um, so we've cut the end off so it can be released when the gates automatically open. So let's see it uh, in progress. So the theory goes, uh, this thing here pulls the rope um, over a couple of pulleys and it pulls the gate which releases the catch um, because the other gate will open at the same time. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, it starts to pull. And there we go, the gate's part. Even though the lock's closed, um, they will um, pull apart. So the pulley's pulling as tight as it can, and that's as far as we can actually take it. The strain on there is actually huge. This main gate still opens. And it goes up, it slows down, and just goes up and kisses the bottom post. And it holds it there for about 10-15 seconds while everything's reset. So it's not fully open on the pedestrian gate, but that's good enough for us. And when we have people with big vehicles, we can obviously just latch it back up on the latch. Now, this is me, of course. So we can also do some clever things. Um, so let's see if this works. Close gates. OK, gate's moving. So there we go, asking Google over the internet, uh, linked into the home automation system, so we can do this from uh, anywhere in the world. And there's the gates closing. And again, we should see here, uh, the wheel's not touching the ground, because I'm only really take, trying to take the strain off the post when the gate's fully closed. So it goes up the ramp, locks in position, and then this thing closes. There you go. Job done. But of course, uh, the big gate is locked. Um, we have mechanical stops in this arm, which is why it looks over specs. So it's a mechanical stop because there's no stop in the middle. Um, but obviously, we can open the gate manually for the postman and close it. So, Bottom line, um, what I was told couldn't be done, can be done, 
Um, we may change this row for a bit of steel wire at some point, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, but Cuico, uh, well, well worth the money. Um, the motor kit is fantastic um, and is programmable to the nth degree, so it does everything we wanted to do. Uh, programming it wasn't that difficult, um, so that was very good. And uh, I have to say a big thank you to my uh, mate Dave, who gave me the 40mm um, uh, box section for the posts, and also uh, made the brackets uh, plasma cut out of 8mm steel, and uh, bent and drilled, and exactly to my sizes. To be fair, couldn't have done it without him. So there we go.